Welcome viewers to the first installment of our series on stopping bullying through the strategic application of dark psychology. In today's session, I will unravel the mysteries of positive and negative reinforcement, empowering you to break free from the clutches of bullying. I've been asked a lot to make videos about this topic since I started my YouTube channel. Yes, about bullying, but I always want to give you the correct information, so it took me a while to find the correct information. That's the only reason why this video series is late. Back to the main topic. How to actually stop someone from bullying you using dark psychology. Part 1. Today, I will teach you how to use positive and negative reinforcement to stop being bullied. If you don't know what positive and negative reinforcement is, I recommend watching my short video in this series. When you are trying to stop someone from doing a behavior you don't like. In this case, bullying, you should make them associate pain with doing that behavior. The reason they bully you is because you do nothing about it. You just let them bully you. This way they associate pleasure with bullying you because they get some fun from doing it. The only way to stop someone from bullying you is by making them feel pain after they bully you. Now I will teach you a five-step plan on how to stop someone from bullying you. 1. Understand why they are a bully. First, think about why they are a bully in the first place. Every bully usually has some kind of trauma which leads them to being a bully. This could be some problems at home, or being bullied themselves, or anything else. 2. Understand why they bully you specifically. There are two possibilities as to why they bully you. The first is that you have something that they don't have. For example, their crush likes you or their father died, and you have a good relationship with your dad. If you find this thing, remember it. You can use it against them. This will also make you feel sympathy towards them the second. Reason why they bully you is that you are an easy target. In order for bullying to occur, the bully has to have more power than the one being bullied. This one may hurt, but understand why you are an easy target and why you have less power than them. It could be that you are really weak, or that you have no friends, or that you are mentally weak and are therefore easy to pick on. If this thing is something you can change, try to change it. For example, if you are weak, go to the gym. This was part one. Now you know why they bully you. In part two, I will teach you how to use this information and positive and negative reinforcement to stop them from bullying you. So follow me to not miss out. Get ready for an exciting video series where we'll dive deep into this topic. This is just the beginning, and we're just scratching the surface now, but there's much more to come. You can come join our Telegram group to ask any questions, discuss any topics, boost your knowledge and more. Subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how to understand people better. Learn how to manipulate others.